Hi everyone, so today we have our wonderful patient, Elsa. She's so wonderful. She's volunteering for this little, just a little education on chin. Why is it important to take the chin into consideration? Chin is not just important. When you're looking at someone from the side profile, obviously you want, you drop a line down. I mean, she has good projection. So that's one thing to consider is the profile. That's the main thing when we talk about chin. But also what's important too is the front. Now, what's so important about it? Now, if I mark out the border, the out of her chin, the boundary, it's about right there, okay? Now, so what do we want to look for in the chin from the front view? If you drop a line from the side of her nose downward, it's about right there. So I'm gonna mark it right there. That's where it's at. And then I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna drop a line down here. And that hits about right there. Okay. So we really want the chin to not, to be within this border. The lateral border of the chin should be these two mark, delineated by the line dropped perpendicular straight down from the outside of the nose. Right now, hers are outside of it. So what we're gonna do when she comes back another time, we're actually going to augment that with some fillers. And when, you, when we do that, it's gonna take away some of the dimpling that you see with the, from the mentalis muscle. And then for a female, we want to kind of, we don't want a deep labial mental groove. That, that's the groove right here. For men, we don't mind it deep. But for women, we want it a little bit softer. So we're gonna soften that groove. We're gonna augment her chin so that way it, it more pointed chin and not so wide. It's gonna give her a more feminine look because for a woman, we want that triangle, right? We want nice volume here and we want it to come down here to a point. So we're gonna make it come down to a point. And then we're also gonna kind of work on this little shadowing, this area right here. And that will make it kind of come out like that and make it just less shadowing that area. And what's also important with the chin too is when you, we add volume in the chin, it's gonna help with lifting this up. Now, how does that happen? When we do a facelift, we're pulling this way, but of course that kind of flattens out this area. So it's not the most ideal thing when you flatten out the cheeks. Go ahead and smile for me. Yeah, when you smile, a lot of people have these little lines that come up and it's always been bothersome when they say, Dr. Nico, are these lines? But I always said, they're normal. They're, they're, they're there when you smile, but patients just don't like it. So what we do is when you augment the chin and you augment the jawline, it kind of spreads it out. It takes away that, those so-called accordion lines and it helps to do that. And so we're gonna do some of that when she comes back. So all that is gonna to equate to just a better lines, better angles. But today I wanna to kind of focus and tell you guys a little bit about that chin. And when you augment this area, you're gonna take away the mentalis muscle. You're not gonna, it's gonna take away those dimplings caused by the bunching of the mentalis muscle. The term that people like to use is myomodulation. Basically, you know, working with the, relaxing that muscle by using fillers and not allowing it to contract so much. As we age, we lose bone density. So when we lose bone density from the mandible right here, then the muscles contracts more. That's why it becomes more noticeable, the dimpling. As we lose bone volume from up here, the orbicularis oculi contracts more. You see more crown, uh, um, uh, we call it uh, crow's feet, I'm sorry, crow's feet. And so that's what causes, and then when you see the lines along the lips, why does that happen as we age? Everyone's gonna get it. It's, it's a matter of just the bone density of the maxilla bone reabsorbing, and then the muscle just contracting more, and then you have more and more and more line. So that's why when she comes back, I'm gonna kinda put volume back in this area very naturally, and it'll help to relax this muscle a little bit and help with these lines too, and not over plop her lips like what you see a lot of. So anyway, just wanna kick, tutorial on chin and uh, we'll take care of some of that in the next video. All right, well, right. thanks.